Hey guys, it's Titan, and today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different here. I'm going to be showing you how to uh, get OBS on your computer to record and how to set it up um, well, how to set it up so it works really well, and uh, how to set it up so you can get your screen recorded too. Oop, don't move Blender. Um, but yeah, so I got OBS here already. Here's the trippiness of this. Um, but yeah, so first of all, let me just double name video. Um, let's search OBS on Google or whatever you use. Go here. And then I use um, this one, the OBS, this one here. Um, I have this one downloaded as well over here, the uh, multi-platform. But honestly, I suggest this one, unless you're on a Mac or Linux, then I can't really help you. And then if you're looking for that, then I'm sorry, I can't really help you. Um, but uh, well, I guess I could, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to show you how to set up OBS, this beta version, uh, Windows. So you download it. I'm not going to hit download. But it'll put a thing on your screen, um, you open it, it'll bring this up. Now, I'm just going to go through settings here. Obviously, like this, this is where my sound is. My mic, I can um, I can lower it, I can raise it, I can turn This is like for music and stuff, or games. Um, but yeah, I got stuff set up here. It's going to, actually, I'm not going to click on this. I have a bunch of games set up here, but um, yeah. So, go to settings. Now, let me just see if it's working here. Okay, good, it's working. So now with settings, uh, general, this is, you don't have to do anything. I think this should be on, if not, I can go ahead and set that on. Um, encoding, if it's ever going to load. It's actually being really slow right now for some reason. Um, but encoder, select 264, use CBR, and then bitrate. Uh, also use this one, I would suggest. This is, um, I have mine set to this. Uh, if you're, the lowest I would recommend going is 1000, and that's pretty low quality. Um, I would suggest at least 2,000 if your internet can handle it. I would I'd go up to like this or 4,000 probably would be better if you have a good internet system, if you have good internet set up. Um, yeah. So next we gotta go if you're gonna do live streams. So you gotta do mode live stream, a streaming service. Um, pick what you want here. A custom like if you're gonna do Beam or something. But I have YouTube set up right now. I got my uh, thing here. I'm not going to teach you how to do that, but this is what your settings should look like. I would suggest doing an MP4. Uh, video so you can um, edit stuff like yeah um, yeah broadcast setting so this is actually let me go look at encoding quickly okay it's not there but set file path to mp4 um, it'll say dot flv change it to dot mp4 change this to dot mp4 as well because it'll allow you to edit videos and a lot of computers can't play flv files uh, so here I guess I have custom um, this will be your um, or you can just do monitor. Uh, whenever I select monitor though, it doesn't really like to work for me, so I don't really do that. My custom, my, this is my screen's resolution. So yeah, as you can see, I got 30 FPS. Uh, 30 or 60 is what it should be set at. Depends on what you can handle it. And then for this, I could select this. I actually might try that eventually because I don't use that. Um, I would suggest using a graphics card. Uh, I don't, if you like, yeah, so I just suggest selecting a graphics card because it'll be able to handle that. But no. So audio, desktop audio, uh, you probably select whatever you use to like. If you have headphones, select your headphones. So I got my Logitech wireless headset, and for my microphone, I got my uh, Logitech wireless headset here. Um, and I also click show only connected devices if all uh, kinds of random stuff might show up there. Nope. Hotkeys, you can set your own hotkeys, advanced. Um, I don't know if this will look any different for you guys. Or for anybody watching this, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I can like, let's just see here. Oh, I don't really look at this kind of stuff. Like scene structure, I don't look at, I don't look at the noise gate or anything. Um, but yeah, so that's that's what it looks like. That's how you'd set it up. Now, I'm also for screen. Now I'm gonna show you to do this. Ooh, trippiness. Ooh, look at it. It's lagging a little bit. Okay. Now uh, let me see if I'm able to do this. So you go here. Go to your file explorer. That's actually not where you go. Don't do that. Go here, go to uh, where's all apps, go down to OBS, wherever it is. OBS, no, that's not multi platform, that's not the one I'm using. O open broadcast software. Um, now, well, oh, that's wrong. Right click on it, whatever one you use. So, um, I'm using 64 bit way up here, as you can see, uh, 64 bit. 
And uh, where where is it here? It'll just give you this. So let me see if I can figure out what version this is. Open the file type. Um, it isn't. It's not showing me here. Let's see here. If I go back, okay. I don't know what version this is, but I would suggest just doing it with both. And if you know if you have a 64-bit system or a 32-bit system, then this will help you know. Um, but go back. Go to this. Uh, OBS, wherever it is, open broadcast software, right click on the one you use, I'm just going to right click on 64-bit. Uh, I would suggest changing both of these if you don't know, if you run a 62-bit system or a 32-bit system. So open file location, now that'll bring up, I'm just going to minimize this, this will bring up this. Now what you need to do is you need to right click on it, and what you need to do is you need to go to properties. It'll open up this. Now, if it's like if you're trying to record the screen in Windows 10, uh, which I'm showing you right now how to fix, it uh, mostly goes up to is Windows 8 compatibility mode. Go back down to Windows 7, select that, and apply. Okay, I didn't apply because I already have it applied. Yeah, I'm do the same thing with op with this version. Um, but yeah, let me just open this. See if this is different. Actually, up oh, did, did I do a thing? Did I break it? Nope. It's not gonna open, is it? I already have it open, okay. Um, so yeah, I got 64-bit here. Um, that's how you set up OBS, basically, and then, okay, well, one last thing here. So, you, if you're gonna set up like a video game, um, you know, trippiness, go to Game Capture, let's just do that, okay. And then, like, you set up what you want to do here. So, um, if I wanna do like a, uh, what is it? I don't know, say I wanna record my photos or something. Or um, then I could do that. Strike. I'd do this and that, and this. These three together probably will help you record it well. Um, and then these three don't really. I don't think they matter that much. Hit OK, and then like, there go on the game capture too. It's not doing anything because I don't know what the heck it's doing. Oh dear. Oh, lagged for a second there. Dropped frames actually, so it really lagged. I'm actually not getting very good frames right now. It's weird. Um, but yeah, so let's say you set up OBS. Um, if you want to see more stuff, I guess I can show up. All right, uh, also, one more thing when you're setting this up, you, you can out, go to properties if you ever want to change it. So if you have like Minecraft open, here, I'm just going to do this real quickly. So if you do this, you can hit refresh. We'll refresh it. And then hit refresh. Minecraft launcher. And then, okay, it'll record this now. So yeah, if, if you're not recording the screen, which I would obviously just only hit the sc do the screen one. Um, but yeah, so that's that's probably all you need to know about how to set up OBS, the uh, Windows version. I might do another video showing how to set up this multi-platform version here. I don't know. I'll see. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed or if you found this helpful, please leave a like on my video. That'd be very much appreciated. If you found it helpful, make sure to share it with other people. And uh, if you need more help setting up, go ahead and ask questions in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.